On the ground in Syria, the violence and bloodshed continues unabated and the situation for ordinary people is dire and getting worse. According to the UN and Arab League Special Envoy, there's only one way to end their misery and hardship. The only solution to the humanitarian crisis is a political solution to the crisis. And, you know, in addition to the, you know, what we have been saying, what the Secretary General has been saying uh, for, forever, really, since the beginning of this crisis, that is that there is no military solution to this. Uh, the government is not going to win and the opposition is not going to win on the ground. But the peace conference he's been trying to convene since May has been delayed yet again. It now won't take place in November. He says he's trying to arrange a date before the end of the year. At UN headquarters, the woman who heads the efforts to destroy Syria's chemical weapons was briefing the Security Council. On that issue, at least, there seems to be some positive news. We've benefited from very quick and constructive collaboration, and it's perhaps not what I think. We count on continued close collaboration, and a number of uh, member states uh, note uh, the need to keep up the momentum uh, because it's important, it's in a very important mission. The US ambassador, who found herself standing next to her Syrian counterpart while listening to that, was quick to compare the help Syria's been giving to the weapons experts with the humanitarian situation. It is outrageous that the Syrian government, which has granted visas and facilitated the work of the chemical weapons inspectors, has not lifted a finger uh, to allow relief workers into the country to assist those citizens who are in desperate need.